What's up, you guys? Thanks for watching the first ever Baker Overland Christmas special. We've got the wise Yoda in his Christmas best here with us. We've got Jacob from Eagles Overlanding. We've got Benji from Budget Overland. Thanks for watching. This is going to be awesome. Let's get into it. Can you turn these lights off? They're a little bright. Let's talk about something for just a second. It's Christmas time, December 2022. I am excited about this trip. We're doing us a little Christmas run uh, in the spirit of the holiday season. I brought along my furry companion, the wise Jedi Master Yoda in his Christmas attire. I realized that he doesn't meet the height and weight requirements for the front seat, but he'll be okay. The force is strong with him. I am meeting up some buddies up here at Ozone Burger, and we're just going to go explore. I'm excited. We're going to be checking out a new area of the uh, National Forest that I haven't been to yet, and it worked out great. My kids have uh, plans with friends. Normally, I would bring them on a trip like this, but they've got some cousins coming over to decorate some cookies and spend the night, so I ran the idea about me doing this trip by the wife, and she said, get out of here. So I did. This will probably be my last trip until late January, maybe early February. But Christmas Run 2022. This is the this is officially the first ever Baker Overland holiday special. So I hope you guys enjoy the magic that is to come. to a little bit of a snag. So I always find that when we can add a little bit of an obstacle to these trips, they tend to be more enjoyable. We have Jethro the mechanic here. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having me guys. <laughs> <laughs> help has finally arrived. Now that we've got an actual mechanic here with the parts we need, we should be able to get this all squared away and then maybe at some point tonight make it to a campsite. all the odds we made it to a campsite that right there behind me is Benji's butt we got a special guest and over here they have the man of the hour Mr. Jacob what are we cooking Making tacos sounds good all right let's take a look at camp we kind of set up super simple got the tent up this is the first time this year I've busted out the cheap Chinese diesel heater Every year there's some new quirk with this thing, but makes it nice and toasty up in there. So the plan tonight is just to relax 
and maybe still some uh, tacos from Jacob. You're not going to believe this, but pulling into a random field in the middle of the night after spending the entire day waiting on the side of a dirt road wasn't what I had planned. But like the Grinch learned, Christmas doesn't always need our plans. Somehow it always finds a way with or without the pretty wrapping and perfect moments. In fact, sometimes the unexpected turns out to be the best part. You all know what I'm talking about. We've all been there. It's the kindergarten Christmas program. When your child decides Silent Night is the perfect song for that Michael Jackson crotch grab. It's the last minute PJ wearing Walmart run for the impulsive stocking stuffer. It's the handmade Christmas cards and ornaments and you can't tell if they're constructed with care or discovered in the trash. These aren't big ticket commercial moments. They don't make the news, but it's what the heart remembers. So when Amazon doesn't get that package to you in time, when the ham gets burnt, and when your spindle breaks, smile. Christmas always comes. After the calamity of the previous day, we had set the bar pretty low. The plan was a few simple trails and maybe a picture or two. Little did we know we would soon encounter an unexpected guest and find ourselves documenting one of my favorite interviews to date. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old? after this place about 40 years i bought i bought about 40 years ago 40 years see i got 600 acres of timberland here oh wow so that the old house didn't have nothing to do with it you know yeah and the, did you know when you purchased this that this was going to be kind of a destination spot people come out here and see it no it, it, well, yeah. it just spar- it just spiraled out of itself yeah well how about how frequently are you out here like on a well, monthly... and now if I'm a cutting wood during the winter, I might be here twice a week, you know, uh-huh. cutting a load of wood. But on Saturdays, uh, I usually come out here Saturday. I go to church on Sunday, and I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a, we're such in a bad shape. I'm the adult Sunday school teacher, you know. We're really, <laughs> we're really got, you know, we're really doing well, you know. <laughs> I was looking somebody come along and talk to me, man. I'm, I'm cold when I'm here. <laughs> what year is the cabin, like the, okay. the or whatever? How would it... Okay, the front room over here, where the fireplace is. Now, my, I don't have any papers that old, but they said this living in it during the Civil War. They call this a Spurgeon Warren cabin. Uh-huh. So I knew old Spurgeon, but uh-huh. after he moved over here, and he said his dad doubled the house about 1900. Yeah, and about everyone I seen had them Pullman ceilings. Oh, okay. They they wasn't high enough to high, but they brought the angles of the wall. You know, the, uh-huh. of course. I, I got to say, and everybody's crazy. They're just different ways. <laughs> That's right. <Yeah>. So I <laughs> so I really like people to come by. I really enjoy it. Well, good. I know what I'm doing, but I don't know what the next guy does, so I don't want to see anybody else come in here and build a fire. Sure, know, sure. No, that makes sense. You, when you say a roaring fire, well, you don't want no roaring fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't take much to burn this oh, place no, down, I'm be, sure. That'd be it, boy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was gone when I bought it. Yeah. 
So I patched it up and went as all the wind is outdoors is out and it's wow. it's, it's pretty full in. And of course I'm no carpenter and of course I can't do nothing. I'm a most un talented person I've met in my life, <laughs> but I can kinda of patch up, you know, and make it look like what he did at one time, you know. So what why did you what made you want to do that? Just because you had the problem? I don't know, you know, yeah. just say well, see like that up there? The, the, the beams above your head, them mm -hmm. huge beams. Yep. You just, you know, you just couldn't burn something like that. No. Yeah. My folks got married in twenty in twenty seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They were born in th in six. And they went, and so they. Mom had a. Th she is a school teacher, and she had no Chevrolet cars, wooden spokes, and you roll the curtains up on the side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen pictures of it, and. They went to California for a and I think about a year, you know, and and uh, I don't guess Daddy liked it at all. But anyway, they bought that old table there and, and took the legs off of it and brought it back in that old car. California. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And I and that's what I say. You don't know how one step was, but I know that was wow. bought in '28. But uh, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> man. Oh, the old That was her favorite toy. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, there's a woman. She bought 12 books and gave me one of them. And about 1950, they went out through here and they interviewed those people, took pictures of, you know, and I had the way of life, you know. Mm -hmm. They come back in 1970, 20 years later, and they couldn't even find what they just had always gone. Really? They just, I mean, they just... You know, the times changed, you know, and they said, oh, kids, kids, you know, didn't want, they went to California or somewhere, you know. Well, I'm glad you're preserving this place. It sure is a neat piece of history. There's something to be said for progress. Advances in medicine, science, engineering, they're worthy pursuits. They benefit us all. But Christmas, for me, has always been a time to look back. Traditions and memories handed down are like layers of stone, each adding to the rich, ancient foundation. Every December, we gather around these old rocks and remember. We remember the old homes, and the loved ones who made them warm. We remember the excitement of little ones and restless nights. And then, just where the rocky pile meets the bedrock, we remember a vulnerable little baby born thousands of years ago. A baby that is our hope. friends merry christmas happy new year thank you guys for watching the video i appreciate it christmas shoda hanging out in the tree he appreciates it we enjoy making this stuff i love christmas and i love camping two things about me if you know me you know those two things are true so this video is just kind of uh, perfect had a blast making it and hope you enjoyed watching it uh, if you want to watch some more stuff on my channel youtube thinks that you'll like this one and i think that you'll like this one so feel free to check out one of those. Thanks again for your time. And remember, the more you camp, the less deer and reindeer the aliens abduct. Merry Christmas.